welcome welcome to the online uh, welcome to the online class of uh, professor s k paul hod university department of english bra bihar university muzaffarpur good afternoon dear students of phd course work today i am going to deliver my lecture on english novels and theater so this uh, this uh, article this essay is more on english novels and less in less about theater let us begin the english novel the english novel is an important part of english literature this article mainly concerns novels written in english by novelists who were born or have spent a significant part of their lives in england or scotland or wales or northern ireland or ireland before 1922 however given the nature Uh, of this subject the, this guideline has been applied with uh, common sense and reference is made to novels in other languages or novelists who are not primarily british were appropriate the english novel has generally been seen as beginning with daniel defoe's uh, robinson crusoe published in 1719 and mol flanders 1722 the john bunyan's the pilgrim's progress published in 1678 and afra bens uh, uh, urunoko uh, published in 1688 are also contenders uh, while earlier works uh, such as the uh, thomas mallory's moti di atta and even the prologue to geoffrey chaucer's canterbury tales have been suggested Another important early novel is Gulliver's Travels uh, uh, written by Jonathan Swift in 1726 uh, by uh, uh, Jonathan Swift was an Irish writer and clergyman uh, which is both is uh, and this uh, uh, this uh, book uh, this novel is both uh, a satire of human nature as well as a parody of travelers uh, Uh, tales like Robinson Crusoe the rise of the novel as an important literary genre is generally associated with uh, the growth of the middle class in England other major 18th century english novelists are samuel richardson samuel richardson 1689 to 1761 author of the Uh, epistolary novels uh, pamela or uh, virtue rewarded published in 1740 and clarissa uh, published in 1747 to 48 henry fielding uh, 1707 to 1754 uh, henry fielding who wrote uh, uh, joseph andrews in 1742 and the history of tom jones a uh, foundling Uh, 1749 uh, Lawrence Stern 1713 to 1768 who published uh, Tristram Shandy in parts uh, uh, between 1759 and 1767 Oliver Goldsmith uh, uh, 1728 1774 author of the Vicar of Wakefield 1766 A Tobias Smollett, 1721 to 1771, uh, a Scottish novelist, uh, best known uh, for his comic uh, picaresque novels such as *The Adventures of uh, uh, Peregrine Pickle*, uh, 1751, uh, and *The Expedition of uh, Humphrey uh, Clinker*, published in 1771, who influenced uh, Charles Dickens. and Fanny Burney 1752 to 1840 whose novels we had enjoyed and admired by Jane Austen wrote uh, Evelina 1778 Cecilia 1782 and Camellia 1796 <coughs> a noteworthy aspect of both the 18th uh, and uh, 19th century novel is the way 
the novelist uh, novelist directly address the reader for example the author might interrupt his or her narrative to pass judgment on a character or pity or praise another and inform uh, or remind uh, inform or remind the reader of some other relevant issue the phrase romantic novel has several possible meanings here it refers to novels uh, written during the romantic era in literary history which runs from the 18th century until the beginning of the victorian era in 1837 but to complicate matters there are novels written in the romance of romance a tradition by novelists like walter scott nathaniel hawthorne george meredith meredith in addition the phrase today is mostly used to refer to the popular pulp fiction genre that focuses on romantic love the romantic period is especially associated with the poets uh, uh, william blake uh, william wordsworth samuel taylor coleridge george byron percy shelley and john keats the uh, two major novelists Jane Austen and Walter Scott also published in the early 19th century Horace Walpole's uh, Horace Horace Walpole's 1764 novel The Castle of Otranto invented the gothic fiction genre the word gothic uh, was originally used in the sense of medieval this genre combines the macabre a uh, fantastic and supernatural and easily involves uh, haunted castles uh, uh, gra- graveyards and various picturesque elements picturesque elements later a novelist and red cliff uh, introduced the brooding figure of the gothic villain uh, which developed into the byronic hero her most popular and influential work the mysteries of uh, udolfo published in 1794 is frequently described as the archetypal gothic novel uh, what heck 1786 uh, by william uh, beckford and the monk published in 1796 by matthew lewis uh, were further notable early works in both the gothic and horror genres Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein published in 1818 as another important gothic novel as well as being an early example of uh, science fiction the vampire genre fiction began with uh, uh, John William uh, Polidori's The Vampire published in 1819 this short story was inspired by the life of Lord Byron and his poem the the kills an important later work is varney the vampire 1845 where many standard vampire conventions originated uh, varney has uh, fangs uh, leaves uh, leaves uh, two puncture wounds uh, on the neck of his victims and has uh, hypnotic powers of superhuman strength uh, 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 varney has also the first example of the sympathetic vampire who loathes uh, his condition but is a slave to it among more minor novelists in this period maria age worth 1768 to 1849 and thomas love peacock 1785 to 1866 are worthy of a comment uh, age worth novel a uh, uh, castle uh, rick rent uh, published in 1800 is the first fully developed regional novel in english as well as the first true historical novel in english and an important influence on walter scott uh, peacock was primarily a satirist in novels uh, such as nightmare abbey published in 1888 <coughs> 
and the misfortunes of Elphin published in 1829. Jane Austen, uh, Jane Austen, uh, he, Jane Austen was born in the, in 1775 and died in 1817. So Jane Austen's works uh, critic the novels of sensibility of the second half of the 18th century and are part of the transition to the 19th century realism. Her plots, her plots, uh, though fundamentally comic, highlight the dependence of women on marriage to secure social standing and economic security. Austin brings to find Austin brings to uh, brings to light the hardships uh, women faced, who usually did not uh, inherit money, could not work, and where their only chance in life uh, depended depended on the man they married. She reveals not only the difficulties women faced in her day, but also what was expected of men and of the careers they had to follow. This she does with wit and humor and with endings where all characters, good or bad, receive exactly what they deserve. Her work brought her little personal fame and only a few positive reviews during her lifetime, but the publication of 1869 of her nephews, a memoir of Jane Austen, introduced her to a wider public and by the 1940s she had become accepted as a major writer. The second half of the 20th century saw a proliferation of Austin scholarship and the emergence of a, a genitive fan culture. Austin's works include Pride and Prejudice, 1813, Sense and Sensibility, 1811, Mansfield Park, uh, Persuasion, and Emma. The other major novelist uh, at the beginning of the early 19th century was Sir Walter Scott, uh, published in uh, Walter Scott, uh, his timeline is 1771 uh, to 1832. Uh, so Scott was not only a highly successful uh, British novelist, uh, but the greatest single influence on fiction in the 19th century and a European figure uh, Scott established uh, the genre of the historical novel uh, with a series of Waverly novels, including Waverly, published in 1814, The Antiquary, 1816, and The Heart of uh, uh, Midlothian, uh, published in 1818. However, Austin is today uh, widely read and the source, of, for, source for films and television uh, series, uh, while Scott is less often read. <clears throat> it was in the Victorian, Victorian era, uh, 1837 to 1901, <clears throat> that the novel became the leading literary journal in English. A number of women novelists uh, were uh, successful in the 19th century, although although uh, they often had to use a masculine pseudonym. At the beginning of the 19th century, most novels were published in three volumes. However, monthly uh, serialization was revived uh, with the publication of Charles Dickens's uh, Pickwick Papers in 20 parts between April 1836 and November 1837. Demand was high for each episode to introduce uh, uh, some new element, uh, whether it was a plot twist uh, or a new character, or uh, so as to maintain the reader's interest. Both Dickens and Thackeray frequently published this way. The 1830s and 1840s saw the rise of social novel also known as social problem novel uh, that arose out of the social uh, and political upheavals which followed the Reform Act of 1832. 
Uh, this was in many ways a reaction to rapid industrialization and the social, political and economic issues associated with it and was a means of uh, commenting uh, on abuses of government uh, and industry and the suffering of the poor. Uh, who were not profiting uh, from England's economic prosperity. Uh, stories of the working class poor uh, were directed toward middle class to help create sympathy and promote change and early example as uh, Charles uh, Dickens says, Oliver Twist. <coughs> <coughs> Charles Dickens emerged on the literary scene in the 1830s with the two novels already mentioned. Dickens wrote vividly about London life and the struggles of the poor, but in good-humored fashion accessible to readers of all classes. Uh, one of his most popular works to, uh, to this day is A Christmas Carol published in 1843. In more recent years, Dickens has been, uh, has been most admired for his later novels such as Dombey and the Sun, published uh, between 1846 and 48. Great Expectations, published between 1860, uh, between 1860 and 61. A Bleak House, 1852 and 53. And Little Dorit, 1855-57. And Our Mutual Friend, 1864-65. An early rival to Dickens was William, uh, William uh, Macfish. William Macbeth Thackeray, who during the Victorian period ranked secondly only to him, but he is now uh, much less uh, read and is known almost exclusively for Vanity Fair, published in 1847. In that novel, he satirizes whole facts of humanity while retaining a light touch. It features his most memorable character, the engagingly uh, roguish uh, uh, Becky Sharp. The Bronte sisters were both uh, were other significant uh, novelists in uh, in the 1840s and 1850s. Their novels uh, uh, caused a sensation when they were first published but were subsequently accepted as classics. They had written com uh, compuls uh, compulsively uh, from early childhood and were first published at their own expense in 1846 as poets under the pseudonyms uh, 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 Curer, Ellis. And act and act on bill. The sisters returned to prose, returned to prose, uh, producing a novel each uh, the following year: Charlotte's, Jane Eyre, Emily's, Wuthering Heights, and Annie's, uh, Agnes Grey. Later, Annie says, "The Tenant of uh, Wild Fell Hall." Uh, published in 1848 and Charlotte's uh, Villity 1853 were published. Elizabeth Gaskill was also a successful writer and first novel uh, Mary Barton was published uh, anonymously in 1848. Gaskill's uh, North and South contrasts the lifestyle in the industrial north of England with the wealthier South. Even though her writing conforms to Victorian uh, conventions, uh, Gaskell usually frames her stories as critics of contemporary attitudes. Her only work focused on factory work in the Midlands. She always emphasized the role of women with complex uh, narratives and uh, dynamic female characters. Anthony Trollope 1850, 1815 to 1882 <coughs> was one of the most successful prolific and uh, 
respected English novelists of the Victorian era. Some of his best loved uh, works are set in the imaginary country of uh, uh, Barsetshire, including the Warden 1855 and the Barchester Towers 1857. He also wrote uh, perceptive novels on political, social and gender issues and on other topical matters including The Way with Life Now, published in 1875, a troll of uh, novels portrayed the lives of the land-owning and professional classes of early Victorian England. George Eliot's uh, Mary Ann Evans, it is a pseudonym, George Eliot is a pseudonym, her real name was Mary Ann Evans. Uh, 1818 to uh, 80, 1880. First novel, Adam Bede, was published in 1859. Her works, especially Middlemarch, 1871 to 72, are important examples of literary uh, realism and are admired for their combination of uh, high Victorian literary detail uh, combined with an intellectual breadth of. Uh, <coughs> breath <coughs> that uh, removes uh, them from the narrow geographic confines uh, uh, they often depict. An interest in rural matters and changing social and economic situation of the countryside is seen in the novels of Thomas Hardy, uh, uh, born in 1840 and died in 1928, a Victorian realist in the tradition of George Eliot. Uh, he was also influenced both in the novels and poetry by Romanticism, especially by William Wordsworth. Charles Darwin is another important influence uh, on Thomas Hardy. Like Charles Dickens, he was, uh, uh, he, ha he was also highly critical of much in Victorian society. Though Hardy focused more on a declining rural uh, society while Hardy wrote poetry throughout his life and regarded himself primarily as a poet, his first collection was not published until 1898, so that initially he gained fame as the author of such novel as Far From the Madding Crowd, published in 1874, <coughs> The Mayor of Castor Bridge, published in 1886, Taste of the Taste of the uh, Village, 1891, and Jude, and Jude the Obscure, 1895. He ceased writing novels following uh, at first criticism of, his, of this last novel in novels such as The Mayor of Castor Bridge and Taste of, uh, of the uh, De Alver Village hardly, <coughs> hardly attempts to create uh, modern works in the genre of tragedy uh, that are modeled on the Greek drama, especially Achilles and Sophocles. Uh, though in prose, not poetry, a novel, not drama, and with characters of uh, a low social standing, not novelty. Another significant delight, uh, the <coughs> 19th century novelist is uh, George Gissing, 1857 to 1903, who, uh, who published uh, 23 novels uh, between 1880 and 1903. His best novel is New Grub Street, published in 1891. Important developments uh, occurred in genre fiction in this era. Although predated by John Ruskin's The King of the Golden River in 1841, the history of the modern fantasy uh, genre is generally said to begin with uh, George MacDonald, the influential author of The Princess and the Goblin of uh, Fantastis, uh, 1858. 
William Morris was a popular English poet who also wrote several fantasy novels during the latter part of the 20th century. <clears throat> Wilkie Collins' says, uh, epistolary novel, The Moonstone, published in 1868, is generally considered the first detective novel in the English language. So while uh, The Woman in White is regarded as one of the finest sensation novels, uh, novels H.G. Wells says 1866 to 1946, writing career began in the 1890s uh, with science fiction uh, like The Time Machine 1895 and The War of the Worlds. 1898, which describes an invasion of late Victorian England by uh, by Martians, by Martians, uh, and Wells is seen, and Wells is seen along with uh, a Frenchman Jules Varney, 1828 to 1905, as a major figure in the development of the science fiction genre. He also wrote realistic fiction about the lower middle uh, middle class uh, uh, in novels like Kipps 1905 and The History of Mr. Polly 1910. <coughs> the major novelists the major novelists uh, writing in Britain at the start of the 20th century uh, where an Irish James, uh, uh, where an Irish man James Joyce, 1882 to 1941, and two immigrants, uh, American Henry James, 1843 to 1916, and Paul Joseph Conrad, 1857 to 1924. The modernist tradition in the novel with its emphasis towards the towards the ever more minute and analytic exposition of mental life uh, begins with uh, James and Conrad in novels such as The Ambassadors, published in 1903, The Golden Bowl, 1907, and Lord Jim, 1900. Other important early modernists uh, were Dorothy Richardson, 1873-1957, whose novel Pointed Proof, <coughs> published in 1915, is one of the earliest examples of the stream of consciousness technique, and D. H. Lawrence, 1885-1930, who wrote <coughs> with understanding about the social life. Uh, of the lower and middle classes and the personal life of those who could not adapt uh, to the social norms uh, of his time. Sons and Lovers, uh, published in 1913, is widely regarded as his earliest uh, masterpiece. There followed The Rainbow in 1915, though it was immediately seized by the police and its sequel women in love uh, and its sequel women in love published in 1920 lawrence attempted to explore human emotions more deeply than his contemporaries and challenged the boundaries of the acceptable treatment of of sexual issues sexual issues not uh, most uh, notably in lady chatterley's lover which was privately published in Florence in 1928. However, the unexpurgated version of this novel was not published until uh, 1959. Then, then in 1920, Irishman James Joyce's important modernist novel, Ulysses, appeared. Ulysses has been called a demonstration and summation of the entire movement set during one day in Dublin in June 1904 in its choice creates uh, parallels uh, with Homer's epic poem, The Odyssey. 
Another significant modernist in 1920 was Virginia Woolf, 1882 to 1941, who was an influential feminist and a major stylistic innovator associated with the stream of consciousness technique. Her novels include Mrs. Dalloway, published in 1925, to The Lighthouse, <coughs> 1927 and The Waves, published in 1931, her essay collection, A Room of One's Own, published in 1929, contains her famous dictum, A Woman Must Have Money, and A Room of Her Own If She Is To Write Fiction, Virginia Woolf. But while modernism was to become an important literary movement, uh, in the early decades of the new century, uh, there were also uh, many fine novelists uh, who were not uh, uh, modernists. Uh, this include E.M. Foster, 1879 to 1970, John Gulsworthy, 1867 to 1933, Nobel Prize in, in uh, Literature, 1932. Uh, whose novels include the uh, Foresight Saga, Arnold Bennett, 1867 to 1931, <coughs> 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 author of The Old Wife's Tale, and H.G. Wells, 1866 to 1946, uh, though Foster's work is frequently regarded as containing both the modernist and Victorian elements. E.M. Forster's A Passage to India, published in 1924, reflected challenges to imperialism, while his earlier works, uh, such as A Room with a View, published in 1908, and Howard's End, published in 1910, examined the restrictions and hypocrisy of Edwardian society in England. <clears throat> the most uh, popular British writer of the early uh, years of 20th century was arguably Rudyard Kipling, uh, 1865 to 1936, a highly versatile writer of novels, short stories and poems and to date the youngest ever recipient of the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1907, a significant English writer in the 1930s and 1940s was George Orville, 1903 to uh, 1950, who is especially remembered for his <coughs> satires of totalit totalitarianism. 1984, published in 1949, and Animal Farm, published in 1945. <coughs> Evelyn Waugh, 1903 to uh, Evelyn Waugh, uh, 1903 to 66, uh, satirized satirized the uh, bright young things of the 1920s and 1930s, <coughs> notably in a handful of dust in 1934 and Decline and Fall, 1928, uh, while, uh, while uh, Bright's uh, uh, Head re, uh, Revisited, 1945, has a theological basis uh, setting out to examine the effect of divine grace on its uh, main characters. Aldox Huxley, 1894 to 1963, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, published his famous uh, 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 dystopia, Brave New World, in 1932, the same year as John Cooper uh, Povey's 1872 to 1963, uh, a Glastonbury uh, romance, Samuel Beckett, 1906 to 89, published his first major work, uh, uh, the novel Murphy, in 1938. This uh, this same year, Graham Greene's 1904-1991 first major novel, uh, Brighton Rock, was published. <laughs> then, in 1939, 
James Joyce published Finnegan's Wake. In his uh, work, Joyce creates a special language to express the consciousness of a character who is dreaming. Graham Greene was an important novelist whose works spanned the 1930s to the 1980s. 80s. Green was uh, a convert to Catholicism and his novels explored the amb ambivalent moral and political issues of the modern world. Notable for an ability to combine serious literary acclaim with a broad popularity, his novels include The Heart of the Matter, uh, 1948, A Burnt Out Case, 1961 and The Human Factor in 1978, Evelyn Vows 1903 to 1966. Career also continued after World War II and in 1961 <coughs> he completed his most considerable work a trilogy about the war entitled A Sword of Honor. In 1947, uh, Malcolm Lowry published Under the Volcano. <laughs> uh, while George Orwell's satire of uh, totalitarianism, 1984, was published in 1949, one of the most influential novels of the immediate post-war period was William Cooper's uh, 1910 to 2002, a naturalistic scenes from Provincial Life published in 1950, which was a conscious rejection of the modernist tradition. Other novelist, um, novelists uh, writing in the 1950s and later were Anthony Powell, 1905 to 2000 whose twelve-volume cycle of novels, A Dance to the Music of Time, and uh, uh, A Dance to the Music of the Time, is a comic examination of movements and manners, <coughs> power and passivity in English political, <coughs> English political, cultural and military life in the mid-twentieth century. Comic novelist Kingsley, Emmys is best known for his uh, academic satire uh, Lucky, Lucky Jim, published in uh, 1954, Nobel Prize laureate, uh, Nobel Prize laureate uh, William Golding's uh, allegorical novel Lord of the Flies, published in 1954, <laughs> explores how culture created by man fails, using as an example a group of British schoolboys marooned on a deserted island. Philosopher Irish Murdoch was a prolific writer of novels that deal with such things as sexual, sexual relationships, morality, and the power of the unconscious. Her works, including Under the Net in 1954, The Black Prince, 1973 and the Green Green Knight 1993. A Scottish writer, uh, Muriel uh, Sparks, also began uh, publishing in the 1950s. <coughs> she pushed the boundaries of realism in her novels. Her first, The Comforters, published in 1957, concerns a woman who becomes aware that <coughs> she is a character in a novel, The Crime of Miss uh, uh, Jean Brody, uh, 1961, at times takes the uh, reader briefly into the distant future to see the various fates that befall its characters. Anthony Burgess, is especially remembered for his dystopian novel, A Clockwork Orange, 1962, set in the uh, not-too-distant future, which was made into a film by Stanley Kubrick in 1971. <laughs>
in the entirely different uh, genre of gothic fantasy Mevlin Pick 1911-68 uh, uh, published his uh, highly successful uh, Gorman Guest trilogy between 1946 and 1959. Immigrant authors played a major role in post-war literature. Doris Lessing, 1919, uh, from southern Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, published her first novel, The Grass is Singing, in 1950. After immigrating to England, uh, she initially wrote about the African experiences. Lessing soon became a dominant presence in the English literary scene, frequently publishing right through the century and won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2007. <clears throat> Shalman Rushdie, born in 1947, is another among a number of uh, post-Second World War writers uh, from the former British colonies who permanently settled in Britain. Rushdie achieved fame with Midnight Children in 1981, which was awarded uh, both the James Tate Black Memorial Prize and Booker Prize and named uh, Booker of Bookers in 1993. His most, his most controversial novel, The Satanic Verses, published in 1989, was inspired in part by the life of uh, Muhammad. <coughs> <clears throat> B.S. Nepal, 1932-2018, born in Trinidad, was another immigrant who wrote, among other things, uh, A House of Mr. Bishwas, 1961, and A Bend in the River, 1979. Nepal won the Nobel Prize in Literature, also from the West Indies, uh, uh, George Lamming, born in 1927, is best remembered for In the Castle of the Skin, 1953. Another important immigrant writer, uh, Kazuo uh, Ishiguro, born 1954, was born in Japan, but his parents immigrated to Britain when he was six. His works include The Remains of the Day, uh, 1989, Never Let Me Go, 2005. Uh, Scotland has in the late 20th century produced uh, several important novelists including James Kellman, born in 1946, who like Samuel Beckett can create humor out of the most grim situations, how late it was, how late uh, won the Booker Prize uh, uh, that year. A. L. Kennedy, born 1965, whose 2007 novel uh, Day was named Book of the Year in the Costa in the Costa Book Awards. In 2007, she won the Austrian State Prize for European Literature. <coughs> Alas, dear Gray, 1934 to 2019 whose Lenark, A Life in Four Books, 1981, is a dystopian fantasy set in his home hometown, Glasgow. Another contemporary Scot uh, is Irvin Welsh, whose novel, uh, Transporting, 1993, gives a brutal depiction of the lives of the working-class Edinburgh drug users. <clears throat> Angela Carter, 1942, 1940 uh, to 1999, 92. Angela Carter was a novelist and journalist known uh, for her feminist, <coughs> feminist, feminist, magical realism, and picaresque works, writing from the 1960s until the 1980s. Her novels include The Infernal Desire Machines, The Infernal Desire Machines of Dr. Hoffman, uh, published in 1972, and Nights, uh, Nights at the Circus, 1984. 
Margaret Drabble, born 1939, uh, is a novelist, biographer, and critic who has published from the 1960s, 1960s until this century. Her older sister, A. S. Bat, born in 1936, is best known for his position published in 1990. Martin Amis, born 1949, is one of the most prominent of contemporary British novelists. His best known novels are Money <coughs> uh, and London Fields. Uh, Pat Barker, born 1943, has won many awards for her fiction novelists, novelist and screenwriter uh, Ian McEwan, born 1948. 48 is uh, another of contemporary contemporary uh, contemporary <coughs> Britain's uh, most uh, highly regarded writers his works include <coughs> the cement garden published in 1978 and enduring love 1997 which was made into a film <coughs> In 1998, McEwan won the uh, Man Broker Prize with uh, Amsterdam, while atonement uh, uh, to in 2001 was made into an Oscar-winning film. Uh, McEwan, McEwan was awarded the Jerusalem Prize in 2011. Zadie Smith, born 1975, a White Bread Book Award winning novel, White Teeth 2000, mixes pathos. Among popular novelists, uh, Daphne T. Morier wrote Rebecca, a mystery novel in 1938, and uh, W. Somerset Mom, 1874 to 1965, of human bondage, published in 1915, a strongly autobiographical novel, is generally agreed to be his masterpiece in general fiction. Agatha Christie was an important writer of crime novels, short stories, and plays, best remembered for her 18 detective novels and her successful West End theatre plays. Christie novels. Christie's novels include Murder on the Orient Express, Death on the Nile, and and then there, there were none. Another popular writer during the golden age of detective fiction was Dorothy L. Sayers. <coughs> while George T. Hare uh, created the historical romance uh, journal. Theatre academic and cultural commentator Christopher Bixby makes the point uh, that theatre as opposed to uh, say the novel is essentially a public experience where a novel may make comment on political issues it does do in private <coughs> In a one-to-one -one relationship between an author and reader, a play, on the other hand, is written uh, for uh, for the for the public. It is <coughs> experienced uh, live and with a, a live audience of, uh, of 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 others who are experiencing the same production as you are in the same moment. This. For Bixby is what makes theatre uniquely poised to draw parallels between the specifics of the drama on the stage and the and the generalities generalities of the social and political context of the play's uh, writing, its original and its revival productions. The Crucible was Arthur Miller's third major play coming after 1947, All My Sons, and 1952's Death of a Salesman. Miller was by then established a major playwright, having won the uh, Pulitzer Prize for Salesman. For salesman.
now uh, some some novels of the 21st century uh, white teeth by uh, z e smith a white teeth uh, plays out its uh, bounding a uh, vibrant course in a jamaican uh, hair salon in north london an indian restaurant in leicester square an irish pub uh, room a turned immigrant cafe a liberal public school and a slick science institute while it takes on faith race gender history and culture zedi smith's dazzling first novel is not to be missed the paying guest by sarah waters sarah waters earned a reputation as one of britain's great writers of historical fiction and here she delivers again a love story a tension filled crime story and a beautifully atmospheric portrait of 1920s london this is her first this is her finest achievement yet the ocean at the end of the lane by neil gaiman the poignant fairy tale from the modern master of wonder is a bewitching and harrowing story of mystery and a survival memory and magic cloud atlas by david mashel a visionary uh, voice uh, in different uh, first century fiction uh, david mashel <coughs> combines a taken a keen uh, combines a keen eye for character and a test for mind mind bending philosophical and scientific speculation to explore fundamental questions of reality and identity <laughs> life after life by kit atkinson if there were an infinite number of chances to live your life would you be able to save the world from its own destiny wildly inventive darkly comic and startlingly poignant this is kate atkinson's at her absolute best <coughs> wolf hall by hilary mantel one of britain's most accomplished acclaimed and garlanded writers hilary mantel brutally and acutely he creates tudor england in this man booker prize a uh, winning novel she deploys her gifts for penetrating uh, 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 unsparing characterization to breathe thrilling new life into the well trodden territory of henry the 8th and his court <coughs> in a dark dark wood by ruth where what should be a cozy and fun filled weekend in the english countryside takes a sinister turn in this gripping suspenseful and darkly twisted literary debut the girl next door by ruth rendel the discovery of human remains in a long forgotten tin box uh, sends the shock waves across a group of long time friends in this psychologically explosive story from the late ruth rendel the the grand dame of british crime writing me before you by jojo moyes ever since she debuted uh, a state site americans have fallen in love with uh, jojo moyes uh, and her opposites uh, attract uh, love stories this is the world of mouth sensation that uh, put put her on the map you will laugh you will weep and when you turn the last page you will want to start all over again atonement by ian mckeown a symphonic and <clears throat> heartbreaking novel of love and war childhood and class and guilt and forgiveness that provides all the satisfaction of a brilliant narrative and the provocation we have come to expect from <coughs> the master of english prose 
द सेंस ऑफ एन एंडिंग द सेंस ऑफ एन एंडिंग बाय जूलियन बार्निस ए नॉवेल सो कंपेलिंग दैट इट बेक्स टू बी रेड इन इन ए सिंगल सिटिंग दिस मैन दिस मैन मैन बुकर प्राइज विनिंग नॉवेल ऑफ स्टैनिंग साइकोलॉजिकल एंड emotional depth and sophistication is a brilliant new chapter in julian barnes's over over little bee by little bee by chris cleef this novel of a young nigerian refugee seeking asylum in great britain is a story of uncertainty courage and profound humanity rendered in brutal yet gorgeous a gorgeous prose so this this way dear students i have completed my lecture today thank you thank you for your uh, patient hearing thank you